First responders have had a trouble for quite a while now with identifying electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles. Those are the vehicles that can have big batteries that can catch fire. The lithium batteries are very hard to put out. A little over a year ago, the SAE found a solution in a European standard called ISO 17840. The Europeans had come up with a symbol like a diamond that they would put on their heavy vehicles, the trucks and buses and so forth. SAE decided to take on that idea, except to put it on a license plate with a small sticker. And the sticker gives you the type of vehicle. So for example, a sticker with a lightning bolt is a high voltage electric only vehicle. If we have a lightning bolt, a red P for petroleum in the H for hybrid, there's a hybrid vehicle. And we even have them for fuel cell vehicles. This is part of a new SAE standard recommended practice called J3108. New York is the first to come up with legislation to adopt the new J3108 sticker system that the SAE has developed. The difference in fighting fires on electric cars and hybrids versus gasoline cars is that you have a fundamentally different approach. On a gasoline car, you can generally open the hood, apply water, and put out a fire. And it only takes a few hundred gallons if you get there in time and the plastic interior is not burning. Electric cars are a totally different animal because the batteries which catch fire are underneath the car. Being underneath the car, when you put water on top, it just rolls off. So firefighters are learning to cool the bottom of a vehicle if it's an EV versus the top of a vehicle if it's a gasoline car.